This episode is brought to you by TwoLinedMusicCutStore.com TwoLinedMusicCutStore.com is your all access to culture. Check out cultural merchandise like leggings, hats, mini boxing gloves and bags. Also t-shirts like hip-hop, nature, rock bands, reggae and dark fantasy. Fast shipping worldwide. That's TwoLinedMusicCutStore.com Now let's check out this episode. What's going on ladies and gentlemen? This is Muscle and this is another Two Line Music Huts Entertainment Report podcast. And today we have a really special guest in the building. Listen, this man has been playing sound from in the 70s till right now. You've seen him on the big stages. You've seen this man right across the globe. You know, we have in the building today, we have Tony Screw from Downbeat the Ruler in the building today. What's going on, big boss? No respect, man. That's a sata. Not a masagana, but just a sata. You know? Just, just holding it. <laughs> you know? I'm so happy to have you on the Entertainment Report podcast tonight. Yes, man. It's an honor for me to 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 be here, and you know, very much an honor. You know, all I've right. Respect. You know, thank you. All right. On this program here, we like to take it right from the beginning and then bring it right up to 2021. So my first question for you is this. Where did you grow up in Jamaica and what was your attraction to music in the first place? OK, I grew up in the area of St. Andrew, Kingston 6, so the Petonium Tavern, mm-hmm. right in Papine area. You know what I mean? And uh, that's where originally everything was started when I grew up right there, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, you know, going to dances, uh, you know, as a little youth, as we would say, Tifa, we young with the dances as baby about the age 10 mm-hmm. or so 11. And um, some bigger man, for me then, all this is something I had the talent for it. I remember a guy named Bibi was working at a Chinaman shop near Mr. Noel. Mm-hmm. I find a little amplifier, you know, with all the dusts and things around it, and say, mm-hmm. you know what? See a little amplifier, see you can do with it. Mm. And he got to get it to um, the character Denton, Cabin with Denton, you know, mm-hmm. good technician from them time there. So we do want to get something there, KT88 for it. Mm-hmm. But Denton couldn't get the KT88. And then get a, a thing there, 676. Or something like that, which is like a substitute, you know, for the yeah. for the KT eighty eight, and it start the little thing, and from this, so we'll start the little thing originally, you know, as um T tone, <laughs> you know. T- okay, T tone was the original name. T tone was the original name, mm-hmm. you know, because you know from Tony with us a T tone, mm-hmm. you know. And what year we're talking about here where you first started T Tone? We're about, about, say, 68, 69. Mm-hmm. You know, them time then. And what's going on pretty good, but just as I started to go on with something, my father had really fine for us. Mm-hmm. Me and three more, two more brothers and one sister that my mother had for him. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, everything kind of does start, bubbles, people move fast and everything, till finally, he said to me, so well then, keep myself out of trouble, because you're going to be coming up here pretty early. Okay. And we do just that, you know? And get off had to play a couple of big songs in my time, because there was a man in my area I was son him, I ride the president. Yes. yes. Kaicho. Mm-hmm. Right name is Rai. You know? Big contractor. I would call him Mason. You know? Mm-hmm. The man of the Camilla, you know? Mm-hmm. And things. And him half of it. Me to play him son and tell him so why sound too big for me, you know? <laughs> it was like a girl. Mm-hmm. Cause I know mean, I could tell him so then I got foreign, you know, so sound too big for me. And got you. He just go on, go on, go on till uh, in fine I you near my hands and I think that was the right man in mm-hmm. fine for the sound because the sound man smell like dog plate. Every name come up from town. About three, four dog plate I need to uh, 
Mm. You know, I'm a fig old say, and the right man that for pay the sound. Mm. You know, so let's go on and just go on do my thing until finally I leave 1970. Yeah. To America, you know. So when you came to America now, 1970, you still had the sound name back then, so you didn't actually change the downbeat yet. No, I didn't even bother with the name, you know, I tell the truth, you know, I never even bother with the name because I have a friend of mine named Ensley General, and, uh, you know, like most of us when, when we leave in Jamaica, we always think that we're coming to paradise and things like that, so we just do enough things where we have, you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, and do enough of record them, and even though I was, you know, such a lover for them. I come up here with like one box of 45, which mm. have about 30 songs in it. Yeah. Anybody remember the, the brown box then with the 45 that used to come in? You know? Of course, of course. And we squeeze up 30 night and two album, which is a tones, fatty fatty and on top. Mm. And that was me. You know? Mm -hmm. I was talking to a friend a couple of days ago, and I was just reminding him that when we came to America in those times, got a green car right at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> right away. Right away at the airport in a little brown, a little brown envelope, you know? Mm -hmm. Never forget that, man. And back over my shoulder, mm -hmm. when I go outside, man, all uh, three weeks after that, I could have seen the line on the show like it was a cold November month. They were that man, the 18th of December, 18th yeah. of November, 1970. 1970. Yeah. Okay, so then now you came to America, I guess you're trying to figure figure out your bearing. So what was your first move to establish a sound now, and how long did it take you to actually get your feet on the ground now? Not too long enough because we used to go to a record shop that lived in, um, that was at about a block from where I was living, one long block record shop named Andy's. Mm. It was two brothers, and they used to um, share the time in Jamaica like six months, one down there, set up the children, then mm. come up, go down, and things like that. And I start to go there and start to buy one and two little songs and start to meet up back on some bridging now. Mm -hmm. And this is what inspired me back in it now. And then we start every time I go there, and it used to get record every Thursday. Usually if the record don't come Thursday, mm -hmm. next week, the shipment will be double, you know? Yes. And stuff like that. So there was alternately song mm -hmm. named Ooey Baby. Mm -hmm. That somebody is singing a tune by him, stick by me, using the same word that John Holt used. Mm -hmm. And that rhythm. Yeah. So on Friday night, no, me, me, me and Dad look at dance now. I listen to sound him, Dr. No. I hear Dr. No play the tune. Hear him play it. And I watch the tune play, and no says a seven inch him play it, mm -hmm. But it's a white label. So, you know, next morning, Jump on a bus, you know, go on downtown and walk out every record shop or in the street <laughs> <laughs> to try to get that show. Nobody know what I'm talking about, mm -hmm. you know. So, the spot from VP when Randy's, Randy's was very busy, mm -hmm. and everybody asked around the counter about that show. Don't know the name, yeah, just ask me. You ask him about the song. Nobody could have don't even know it. So the spot said to me and say, Can I help you? And I say, Yes, I'm looking for this song, you know, that somebody singing Stick by Me. Mm -hmm. You know? And we made the reading. And then she said to me, say, Oh, oh, oh. And then she like bend on the counter and pick up this song. On the white label, I put it on the turntable. Mm -hmm. But through my ears so quick now, when she put on and I hear drum roll right, right away, I said, No, take it off, take it off, take it off. <laughs> because I don't want to hear nobody else hear it. Yeah. 
and that was a history for me. So when I when I when I up here now and we reach on this record track now, I meet up on these guys them now. I will start talking about songs and things like that. I tell them so then here's a tune, another tune pan we we be ready. Mm -hmm. And every man what did they tell me say lie me I tell. So me young live a block away, so me just try it out to me young son, come back and get the tune to prove it to them. And it start from right there, so. And a guy named Tipper Tone now, mm -hmm. not the original Tipper Tone I know from Jamaica, the sky does have him so named Tipper Tone. Mm -hmm. Because in America, I know about actually three Tipper Tone actually. Okay. But Mike Tipatone was a guy in the Bronx. They have another Tipatone, which, which I think is still around, at Bridgeport, Connecticut. Mm -hmm. And they have a Tipatone in Hartford, Connecticut. Mm -hmm. And the other day, when Lou Rankin passed and I went to his funeral, I meet a guy saying the original Tipatone in Canada. Yes, I know exactly who you're speaking about. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man, Tipa. Yes, yeah. yes. And he tell me that he's the original cap uh, Tipatone. So I said to him that if you're original Tipatone, maybe in foreign, you know what I mean? Because I know the original Tipatone in Jamaica, a guy named, they call him Finger, in the body work, you know, and things like that, you know? So everything start from right there, and they just start, they just start praise me, you know? Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, and, it, you know, Mikey he used to like how Mikey play. You know, as a dread, you know, he was a dreadlocks youth and like when he play. Mm -hmm. But the only thing with him, every song he play, he use it, he rather and slow it, slow it up. It's like every song too fast. You know? <laughs> and he use him rather and slow it up. And me start giving him a couple of now and you know, a man at Jamaica. You know? Them times they don't know nothing named Studio One, like Mr. Dan Coxon. Not yet. One, mm -hmm. but I meet the man. Got you. You understand? Mm -hmm. And uh, start the mic it some tune now because that was my idea for lay back. Mm -hmm. Some tune now and give him a money for helping fix speaker when it blow. But why the crew we are following is was very rough, you know? And uh, it did get rough and record get broke up police raid and final business in the soup pattern. Hmm. Never so right, you know? Yeah. So they look at him one day and said to him, so boy, you yeah, joke with the thing, you know. They were showing off for all own business. Mm -hmm. I'm just take it up and start being my little one now. And what year what year was this? And did you have the name Downbeat or you were still with the other name at this time here now? No, at that time, uh, it's no downbeat mm -hmm. yet. Okay. Because I was in this we start say, sewer merchant, mm -hmm. you know, you know, downbeat sculpture, mm -hmm. downbeat intellect, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and it was all about those things. Mm -hmm. But my deal is to say, guy named Gitmo, what we call it, Dub Wiser. Mm. Where you know, if it's the man who cut the sound and what you him love cut out and put in the bass like the original style, mm -hmm. so name him the dub, you know, the, 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 the dub wise up. Mm -hmm. So I was talking one day and he said to me, Say, don't be to that be a good name, you know. Mm. And I said, Well, then why, yes, we can me a team, but calling the sound don't be, but we want to meet the sad dad before, and I don't know if the sad dad. Would I accept it? Mm -hmm. And this is where it began now. And then 1972 now, I, this is running now to 71, you know. Yeah. 1972 now, when I record shop uptown now, you know, Brad's record. Mm -hmm. I think it's one of the best record shop ever in New York City. Go see and them guys they used to export song to him. This man I have tune. The store was well stocked, brethren. You know, and Brad Sarley is giving a rating for the knowledge where him think me have. And him say, me have more tune and studio one. So one day it just happened that I went in the store and said that Coxon come in the store. Mm. 
And Branson says, see the youth that we have more tune on you. <laughs> and, you know, from there, so, mm -hmm. we meet with Sadadi in 1972. And, you know, so Tim said, why would I like be that sound, but that is why I call it downbeat, but more you endorse it, if mm -hmm. you will. And I tell my word to her, say, yeah, man, everything cool, everything cool. And I said, no, sir, that is not cool. You have to sign something, man. You put my hand back on your nigga. Yeah. I'm telling me I have a little marker pen ready, you know. Mm -hmm. So we give him a marker pen and then put him right down beat international upon it. Mm. By right, I tell it on the secret. The song really registers down beat international. Okay. But when I put out down down beat international upon the first flyers, mm -hmm. every other dance has to its own. Everybody named international now. Mm. International this, international that. So the soul and why everybody's international. So I'm the ruler then. Mm. Okay. And the down beat ruler. Mm -hmm. And from there, so you don't be the ruler, just keep going, 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 you know. So the sound bus. Mm -hmm. So I would say the sound bus in one year. Okay. Bus in one year, you know. And uh, what I like, uh, what I would like to make a lot of people know on this interview too. Mm -hmm. I'm across the board selector still. Yeah. That means. Yes, I agree that I love Studio One more than any other studio. One of the main reasons for that is because most of the studio them today, mm -hmm. if you realize, the version Studio One show them. Yeah. You know, if it's not the lead, the rhythm guitar is a bass note or something. Mm -hmm. So, me always say, yeah, man, Studio First, even though it was the first studio in Jamaica. But, the kind of song that we start make another studio. I love Joe Gibbs, Bonnie Lee, Harry J, Moody's, Channel One. Mm -hmm. I, you know, Joe Joe from Channel One and all those people, Jeremy from Pento. So come out of my house and ask when we overthink this song and certain thing. I was just lazy for Turner, producer, that was me. We just love sound business, Bridger. Got you. You, know? you understood. You understood what you were good at and what you brought to the table. So you figured that's what you're gonna do. Sound. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. And this is why I support the sound culture so much. Mm -hmm. You know, because I remember one evening, a sound named Sir George the Atomic mm -hmm. was playing about five doors from my yard. Select that Prince Ruff. I feel proud of that to tie here. You write talk about that selector differently and come at you. He talk yeah. about too. And I'm taking a shower before the dance, but I cook the nice, you know, it goes Saturday, Saturday evening dinner and them thing them. I think she cooks some hockey and them thing that evening there. Mm -hmm. And also young girl can't forget food. Mm -hmm. Because when I take a shower and go to, to pass the dance. My mother never sleep until about five something next morning. Mm. I don't leave the control. I watch everything with the man I do. I mean, I ask him no question, you know, because mm. I know him, I don't be just stand up and just I watch. You know, man, yard name, George Rubal, Chase, one of the baddest rest of my name I know. I <laughs> 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 know he was gone. Yeah. Serious, them rest of my bad. No, three or four or five police can hold them on there. I tell you, Chess, Paul Pane, my mother, Taj Rubal, Chess. Crazy. And so then, watch it. So it, it was in, of how I grew up, you know, right across the yeah. street from Brigadier. Mm -hmm. Okay. Same street. Yeah. Brigadier. Address, you know, Sister Nancy was number five. My address is number four, Tavern Avenue. Mm -hmm. And um, Brigadier was always my idol. You know, even before Brigadier got on Jalop Sony, Sonium, Marcos. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, yes. Bad sound too. Mm-hmm. But you know, you get a lot of fame mm-hmm. when you go and jail out, you know, and things like that, you know, you don't try following and create no history. Mm-hmm. So you knew oh. Brigadier Jerry from Jamaica. So then this is differently from knowing him, linking with him when you got to New York. No, well, of course, because when I got to New York, I bring him to I bring him to America. I bring him to New York. Okay. They actually, beach here down beach, so. Mm-hmm. I bring him here, I think it was 1982. Yeah. When I bring him to New York and, you know, for DJ down beach, so. Mm-hmm. Because um, in Brigadier, where Brigadier was living, then he used to have a team named Poco Meeting. Yes. You know, so that, that spiritual thing, no, it kind of, Grew up in all of us certain way, you know, with those meetings that keeping people going, hey, 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 and mm-hmm. people getting in spirit and, and those kind of things. Mm-hmm. And Brigitte's father was a man who make the drum and beat the drum and play the drum. Sometimes when they rock all the drum and rock all the stick them by your head or your hand. This man does full of style and joke yeah. with Brigitte's father. I'm not Tell you know, Jerry, you know, mm-hmm. father of Jerry. Yeah. And this man never paid for pay a job. Mm-hmm. So we grew up on that spiritual thing where this is why the era that we grew up in so much, we stick to it so much. Mm-hmm. Uh, we grew up like, you know, like that kind of, well, I call it Christian vibes uh, in a way. You know, so when people hear Brigadier, what all them spiritual lyrics are from a long time. It's something what all of us grew up in and come really see. Mm-hmm. And which I think it was a really a good thing. Definitely. That would keep it real. This is why I don't meet be the sound that he is today. Mm-hmm. All right. So then that's what I want to ask you. You got there, you're doing your thing. When you decided now the sound name Downbeat, what other sounds were in either Bronx or New York as the big sounds at that time there? Okay, good. All right. When I came up here in New York, I I just come to see some like fading away, like Bulwaki. Mm-hmm. I never really hear Bulwaki, but but it looked like it was fading out then. So them sound is like a uh, sixty nine, sixty eight, mm-hmm. one thing like that, and then you know some other little song come in. But then when I started to play officially in seventy two, you now. You start a while a sound name Upsetter. Mm. You know, you have Upsetter, then African Love came up. African Love, his first name was El Rakas. Okay. You know, mm. and, and and then later on, now coming up, which is much later, you have Papa Mo from New Jersey mm. and things like that. You know, but these are some of the original sound them where I come in. I think Sir Thomas was also there, but Sir Thomas was living in Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. I was a Bronx resident for many, many years, you know, mm-hmm. when I came to New York, you know, and when I start to handle things you now and start to go around you now and basement dance and house party, mm-hmm. you know, and we started to say, Strictly Rockers and Rubber Dub. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we come out of them basement party there, you know, the smoke and certain things. <laughs> it's like, kill you when you go out and uh, every party is daylight, you know, you don't have a basement with no light down there. Mm-hmm. And when you when you um, come out on the light, you now it's like you're almost blind. So the shining. So we go through all of them things there, you know? Mm-hmm. And Muslim, I want to tell you and tell the world that reggae music is great mm-hmm. because I remember in the American people them at that time, them, don't, them couldn't understand us. Like how oh, you see reggae all over the world you now, and some people, they didn't understand it a little bit more. For sure. But for some, re- the, some reason, the, the beat catch them, get to them. Mm-hmm. As I, I could hear uh, some girls saying, I don't know what the hell they saying, but it's so good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
So we always have that kind of, you know, thing coming up, you know. But I knew reggae music was going to grow. Mm -hmm. And I knew some system too was going to grow to the level that I think I put it to. Mm -hmm. And glad for the rest of some of them who really come in and join on and help me make it possible too. Mm -hmm. From there. Yeah, man, down beat the ruler. So then now, you know, because I know some of the original DJs that were around on um, Downbeat. One time was people like Captain Devon, Howie Bantan, Santa Rankin, Gitmo, Juki Jam, um, Computer, and of course, you yourself. You know what I mean? That was some of the original crew that was around. Oh, my God. When I tell you something, I was, as you say that too, mm -hmm. early on, I speak to Professor Nutsto. He mm -hmm. gave me a shout. And he was one of the first DJ that he came up with, and Captain Devon and those guys, like, they was like bridging, bridging, bridging. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, when Nuts come to America, it's down with sound first, the first time okay. in work in America. And down with sound is it's Houston, Texas, in Shine, mm -hmm. 1955. Mm -hmm. Professor Nuts, and from that time, and then, yeah, Clinton Lindsay was working and Mr. Lindsay started bringing the artists them now. And then Papa Son and them you they know, you know, come up and pass through the downbeat and, and not son, Papa Son telling me that they never know they must have great DJ till them pass through downbeat sound. Because every DJ that DJ pan downbeat sound, I test them. Mm -hmm. I give them somebody where they're not used to. You know, because with Shining and Santa, mm -hmm. we don't do no rehearsal with them. Because I said, if we don't pick up DJ, I don't want to program myself with them. Yeah. Some people say the best to program, but when you program yourself, they do the same thing every day. Mm -hmm. So if they want to practice, so they want it and come. When they, when they come and play and DJ and pan down beat song, I just play part one or part two and part three. Give them the name of the artist as a part two or part three. Hmm. I said, don't call if you hear the rhythm, don't call the artist name until I tell you. Hmm. Okay, I might hear the rhythm and it's not the same artist where you think. Yeah. But Captain D, Captain Devon and those guys, they was like warrior and don't beat so them don't afraid of nobody, man, <laughs> computer and how we want them. Them don't feel that nobody them tackle any artist that come from Jamaica and defend it. Mm -hmm. I remember one night we have a dance with Stero One. And you know at that time Stero One was the body sound. Yes, man. Coming from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Lieutenant Stitchy, Wolfman, Ricky Stero then. Mm -hmm. And Stitchy and Santa was going for it. But we like, you know, I like certain thing, you know, mm -hmm. and so on. And Devon, why me if you give him the green light? But I wouldn't give him the green light because if I give him the green light, why well, to that tougher? Mm -hmm. But you never want that because it's my dance anyway. Okay. I mean, I them get down real good as entertainment, but I never want to hear the cussing really start one. Mm -hmm. And the dance was a wicked dance. In status ballroom in the Bronx. So all of them guys say, Oh, we Banton was a joke. Cause one night I Oh, we Banton a DJ. Mm -hmm. And Joseph Will, up on my soul, is my good friend, Joseph Will. And Oh, we Banton a DJ, but I can't now spot the muscle. Mm -hmm. And I tell, you know, like if I say, 196 on Valentine. And Joe's will just hold the mic, take the mic for him and say, DJ, you think you're smart, but you're not clever. Hmm. Oh, you're telling the Babylon they well, you can't and they them come. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. And things like that. So we get a lot of joke, you know, mm -hmm. to the nature of, um, and maybe I should let out the secret to while this interview is going on. A lot of people don't remember. But I used to DJ and select my song. What? Yeah. A lot of people have been on tape and don't know it's me. No clue. That's how Don't Be Song started out. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I did it for 13 years. What? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how did it all started out? How did you even get your name, Tony Screw? Well, it's a long for that. Mm -hmm. Two brothers can call them name because I think both of them die. Mm -hmm. When I was playing in a, a um, house party for a guy named Rockatone, who have a big name now, big promote, promotion name now. Mm -hmm. And we inside and I play. And everybody always know me as the, the music man, because the music call, call me. Dog man, mm -hmm. you know, and everything there. And I was playing a song, and this guy, they arrived with a children on him, this whole heart of mine. And the guy just took up the record and, and looked on it. So the team said, Where you know, you take up my record and, you know, mm -hmm. look on it. So you can't do that, man. And I said, no, just look me and look at me. I said, if you want to look at my things, ask me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And the multitude are going. So I just go stand us. Grab it all the time and say, give my record, man. Mm -hmm. And the like scuffling go on right this one. And then a few minutes after, we hear a pie pie. But the pie pie will go off now. Couple of people where they didn't know think I may get hurt. Mm. What is our next man? Do a man something over a farmer. Mm -hmm. So someone has said, Why? I first people I said, Don't make it a way, you know. Eh? I first people I said, Don't make it too, so. And it just took all the way. <laughs> one more. Mm. I would just keep it in one. Same thing like the name Goldfinger. Mm -hmm. When Shiny come on the sound, a lot of people don't, don't remember, says mm -hmm. me also named Goldfinger. Yes. A lot of people don't know, because mm -hmm. I have people call me, I say, well, I'm screw, they say everything good, I say, Goldfinger, they say, you're talking right now. <laughs> yeah. People have known me for years. Mm -hmm. Because the fact about the whole thing, when Shiny come on the sound, and I asked him some question and thing, and I showed him, say, them two of them, I caught a goal. I'm going to play an idiot song. And the two of me plays goal. And he just go in and dance with the guy and bring it try to say, diamond finger, it never work. Mm. You know what I mean? The gold finger does stay there and stay there and work. And we even have song about it, Johnny Asburn, Chuma mm -hmm. Delgado. You know, guy, you know, Junior Delgado sing tune Goldfinger from the Goldfinger movie. But the word does come up, not from the movie, it just come up. Junior show, Shine it said, mm -hmm. me not play an idiot tune them. And then in the tune he play must be goal. Mm -hmm. And it's something which we, we know that is true. You know, until uh, it's an issue about downbeat sound, you know? Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a full time issue where you know we could do nine hours interview about it. <laughs> uh, the book, you know, the real truth about downbeat sound because we don't talk nothing when it really goes so you know, we are sure. trying to speak the truth about it. Got you. So <laughs> it's a song really build dance all in America. And anybody and who do agree to it. And that's why I have, trust me, if you see my notes and what I know already, you'll say, okay, I'm really here to talk to you because I know you're one of the first people that did five the hard way with Briggy, Josie, Charlie Chaplin, Santa Rankin, and Shinehead. How did you come up with that there? Well, listen, I don't want to say one of the first. The first. The first. I do it in America mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because um, Joe's Will came up with Sturgraf 1984, mm -hmm. first time I meet him. And you know, him and you or I have some issue. And then I you know, named Clive, a bridge in Canada, used to have it looked like he used to have a ear to ear dance in Canada with Joseph Charlie. I forgot the guy's name, but you probably know about that too. 
Okay. And this guy used to have a year to year, and him and this guy named Clyde was friend. Mm -hmm. So he came over here one time, I was talking, and I meet him. And him said to Clyde, he said, why don't you try to package a Josie Charlie and, you know, Josie Charlie at that time, it was Josie Charlie. Mm -hmm. And Clyde decides to no, do it and use my sound and keep a couple of dances, you know. Mm -hmm. What are Bronx, what are Brooklyn, what are Queens? And first time chose Lil DJ upon the song. He said, Don't be it. Now you are bridging, but it's, this is not a curry fever. This song is wicked. Hmm. From that day, you know, the man they sleep out of my house days, weeks, mm -hmm. months. Me used to book him. Anybody wouldn't say would have signed a paper, but anybody wanted Joe's Will or Brigadier and uh, them have to talk to me. And I uh, sometimes I take people money. Mm. And sometimes in a year from Joe's Will till uh, the day before. Mm. And anything we ever do at Jamaica. I me call him and say, Well, you know, so I try to find you and call him him and him now him and left it and come. Yeah. Never let me down, Richard. That you they never let me down. I remember one night, then I saw him stir pride and play. Mm -hmm. And Josie have a thing named Tansel. They are bad at him, you know. And the only man I used to name Sir Tips, they are Brooklyn. And Sir Tips bring back a brand, and he said to me, Sir Boy, I don't beat. I don't know if I'm going to come back in you know, and call this Tansel. And it's a wicked dance, you know, because the man they have King Kong live. Mm -hmm. And them have tiger lies by the sound. Mm -hmm. Me never have no every duty, it's gonna be there, keep the dance. Me never have no every duty that much. Mm -hmm. I name them for say, match up with them. And at night, George does say, boy, the man does say, boy, I don't need a car, no say, have a sound clash and don't come. And you're good it was the night now. To say our two name and the cover lover where I mash up the place. Mm -hmm. And Tiger have a two name, Wanga Gut. Mm -hmm. At the same time, remember them thing them. But the sound we are playing against, and it's funny, because the sound we are playing against like a part one, part two for downbeat. Because mm -hmm. the same man who give the sound, that sound is stir, stir pride, get half of the sound, and me get the next half. Okay. But for some reason, them couldn't get the sound to play the kind of man who engineer my sound and build my box them. Was the same man named Barry who built Jack Ruby box them. Mm -hmm. And I built one heavy sound in Jamaica history, you know, to name King of the Rich Giant. Mm -hmm. Enough people know that name mm -hmm. coming from the 60s. Okay. Them time there. The original people them, who still alive and know me at talk about and go dance. Man, them box used to big and man used to call out some box. Cassius Clay. It's not a list and you know, and them box if you trouble your art, you can't go against them base there. Mm -hmm. What what I wanna tell the world about a lot of people don't realize. I hear some sound in Jamaica mm -hmm. that was using two bank for fire. Up until today, it's few sound me hear sound like them in a them time then. Because if a man hear a lot a sound in stereo from Spain town, from Spanish town, they know me at all about. Mm. If a man hear a sound like King Tobies, Yes. Great. I think King Tobis, I would give King, King Tobis that honor to say, I think King Tobis created the greatest history in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Because King Tobis is one of the sound, it and Sir George Atomic, where when Joe Williams, a policeman, they mash up. Police ready to mash up the amplifier, then, brethren. Mm -hmm. Mash it up. This is why Tobis actually leave the business. 
we couldn't take it no more because to is a play tonight and North Man get beaten. The last time I hear King Tobis because the set of people who follow Tobis sound is a roadblock anyway, King Tobis though. I see King Tobis play songs that when it's time to young bike, you know that the bike it's time to come in Jamaica. Yes, yes. And you I play a tune that you are in a my area, in a man. A man named Shadow, and I'm Lan, right next to the Hope River, Tavern, in a tavern there. And the first time I hear, me, me love give selector credit. That, that's one to me. Mm -hmm. Love give selector credit. When you're good, and you play a bad tune, you don't tell you you're good. For sure. I'm like, let me hear it, because I want to tell the people also, back in the days, it's 8 o'clock, dance start. In Jamaica, and the mama we would them give a certain amount of music free, whether it's an hour, half an hour, and when eight o'clock come, them tell us that's all for free. So if you're in a, in a the dance, everybody have to clear out that dance, and if it's one and two man inside where a man knows, say the man never buy out the bar, the might have my talent for them in there, just slow them, cause they know the man never buy out the bar and leave them in there. But tell everybody have to tear out the, the dance, you know, out by the bar, come out and come in back. Mm -hmm. And then them start, when eight o'clock come, them start to them sign on song. And you get uh, whatsoever you get. And the song them that you get for free, you know, get them when dance start. <laughs> So this is where I learned my thing because I have a friend of mine in Texas and a, a good friend of mine with a big promoter and I have a call calling him in New York to keep enough dance and I'm tell the man so the reason why I'm not used by some can play too hard. I mean he feels the music will play hard. Hmm. Because my dream in the music is to be an artist sometimes where people say done. An artist where so man no one because everybody like vice the real name brand man them so everybody became playing the same thing. Mm -hmm. But I like to play artists where no people ever hear about. Because when I play artists where people don't hear about, it give me a chance to make people hear them. For sure. If you understand what I'm saying. So I grew up fear selector, not radio, because radio will play a tune when it release. Mm -hmm. We are talking about pre-release song. When you have to go to a dance here, a selector say brand new. So when people talking about brand new tune now, I remember the days in New York. When we are buying record, we are get we are buying record, getting record from Jamaica, and still I buy record from five, six record shop in New York. And we can't wait till weekend come Saturday for go play them. Play new tune. Hmm. But them time there, you can just, just play the tune them. When a tune come on them stormy night. Have you ever been outside when the rain is falling? Roland Burrell sing it. Okay. It's so popular. But the first one with the steppers, go famous in England too, with Fred Lax tonight. And I remember one night in the 70s, about 78, I played in a dance. And a man just picked it up off of the turntable and couldn't buy them up because I'm sure he's going to put on $300. <laughs> and it take the 31 years to get back that song. Okay. Serious. <laughs> Not that history, brethren, but it's true. All right, now. So there was one name that you had brought up earlier. All right, because I want to get into some of your clashes here. One yeah. name you had brought up earlier, Papa Moke. I know you guys had clashed either two or three times. How did all of that come together? Because they were the big song in Jersey. You guys were the big song in Bronx. How did those clashes come together? Well, to be honest, Papa Mo killed me two times. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid for that. Mm -hmm. 
You may have a better sound than my own. At okay. the time, because my, my sound was a smaller sound. Mm -hmm. The papa more really. Have the tune them out was like a smaller sound to him. Mm -hmm. And them tricked me. And when I said trick me, because Brigadier was supposed to come up and DJ my sound. Yeah. And Brigadier never come. If Brigadier come, me could me and Sister Carol alone could manage it. And then we are um Reverend Badu because we could manage the thing with a with a DJ named Ranking Joe. Mm. We can ranking Joe. I just come back from England. One of the baddest sound, the first sound to travel out of Jamaica and go to England. A lot of people don't know that. It's real symbolist. Yes. Dangerous with the, sound. With the entire sound system. It, entire. Mm -hmm. And the only man ever do that in New York mm -hmm. is Jack Ruby. Okay. With the entire system, you know, and tell you the name of the boat, mm. you know. Where it come from, mm -hmm. but real symbolist. And then, when real symbolists go after Jamaica, I think he was supposed to come to New York. I think and he got killed, mm -hmm. right? Yep. I think it was an accident and he got killed, and that changed up everything. So just through and and ranking Joe came up here. I think play um you know for play Papa Mox song mm -hmm. and um. I think that was influenced by with Mikey. Mikey Jarrett influenced about that. Because I remember one night, me and African Love playing for Gilly and Urchin. Mm -hmm. And a man at that club named the boss. Upstairs and downstairs. Don't meet upstairs. African Love downstairs. You know, African Love downstairs. Mm -hmm. But you know, we always have some crowd. But ranking Joe come out and go down see is a different thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And me up see us now by myself go and get more. I pay my tune and I'm still a boy and them are more crowd than we down see us and, and and I sing a pass to respect to singer here. I sing a name Errol Mays, otherwise known as Jabaiba. Mm -hmm. You sing a tune and read up Jabaiba and then come up and so why well, sound sound good and respect? I don't know that sing about three, four songs with downbeat sound. But we could manage ranking Joe downstairs. Mm -hmm. Now nah, lie. But when Papa won't be to in New Jersey, never be to a tune. Cause I never have songs like we. But about the DJ. Yeah. And the DJ a flow where we are going and ranking Joe fresh in our region. From Jamaica. But when Don't Be Three Bill, he never win another dance. Hmm. Never win another dance. The last time, actually, the last time we killed more, killed a place in Galaxy in Brooklyn. Yes, big, big, legendary yes. place. Not the great I Rai Pan and Sound. Hmm. And I Rai couldn't help him because the night come was sound, we have Ringo. Mm -hmm. Papatayan, Brigadier, Michigan, mm -hmm. oh my God, Welton Iri. And that night, I've been telling something that night what happened. The selector, we are selected for more that night. Mm -hmm. Mr. Dad, the toxin. I am the only man ever carried in a dance three times. And the man, Philip James, the Blues Busters. Yeah. Well, I could have few dub and bring my dance to me because I had bring Brigadier around by studio one for doing the man and my brethren. I never mixed up at the time, so then bring it to the dance to give me. Mm -hmm. So Mr. Dad and I dance and the selector, see Mr. Dad, oh my God, man, studio one like nothing. Mm -hmm. So when my time comes to play now. Studio one, you know, you have to just know what you're doing. Not because it's studio one. Because, you know, sometimes the time of the dance, me and already feet yet, even though you can't play studio one anytime. Mm -hmm. So, even though I said that, did it? And my time come to play. 
I look at the crowd and I say, boy, the beach you may have Ringo, went and I retire and the whole volcano crowd me and all them things there. Brigadier Michigan. You know, start drive through to them can DJ and I talk the stuff. So the standard does walk over to me and whisper to me and say, why Jackson has to say no panic, the little dude that see me and get a little panic here. <laughs> 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 thing. So you know what I represent, because yeah. you know my boss is near. Me not try and impress my boss. Mm -hmm. Me want the DJ them way. Tie and have all that tune the hot bubble gum and you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. them tune there. So that was the principle about the whole thing. And, and last time again, no, in New Jersey now. With the finish Papa Mook in New Jersey. It was Brigadier and Luton and Stitchy. Okay. But it was a great it was a good sound. Mm -hmm. Create enough things. Very popular. Create enough thing. And sound good. Tube amplifier. So I them I use tube amplifier, I use Macintosh. Mm -hmm. Crown and Chris, you know, I want the tree sound. When I want the tree sound now, African love the tree best sound in America now. Mm -hmm. I go for the championship now in America. For see we are the best sound in America. And at night, you know, it prove. That's the night with my first crown. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's African love. Downbeat African and Papa Mook. Because African love was a strong sound of the Bronx, too. Mm -hmm. And Papa Mook, so there was nobody else better. African love, Downbeat and Papa Mook. Hmm. So clash of the crown on New York, no. And you know, you know, those dance was DJ dance and thing like that. And everybody have them on DJ. Me have Brigadier Sister Nancy, Shiner than Santa. You know what I mean? African love have, have been Louis Lapkin. Papa Moka, um, Sassafras, and I think Lorian Joe was over there too. Mm -hmm. And Shirley Tund, and, you know, and and Kat, and them things made over by um, African love's part. Mm -hmm. But Brigadier, you know, them time there, Brigadier was, i tell you. You know, Crazy. and even at those times, the DJ in our curse, the DJ in our brethren. Mm -hmm. Mandosa draw lyrics. You know. Let me tell you what happened that time, 1984. The dance was so rum that when I went downstairs, I figured out, say, the Bronx Cloud and Godos work with me. First time now we are a silk shirt. I'm going down see it and sting. You know, correct the crowd. I bring that in and I try to bring in, you know. The crowd was so big outside. But when the whole lamp on my shirt and tear out the back of it, you know, it's not a willfully thing done, you know, everybody just want to follow me, remove me, man. <laughs> I mean, they didn't want to live shine it now. So we shine it now, no respect where I have a sound for himself now. Me left shine it now, my dog played on me, bring from Jamaica cars. Me go through hell in Jamaica, Richard. Mm -hmm. One well, of the worst time ever have in Jamaica. Nobody, not, you know, nervous. Can I explain and tell you what really happened? At one time, me even said to myself, so why well, don't you come to Jamaica, come give your life? Mm. But God does make it never happen that way. Really. And we're glad to say, when we get choked down, it was police. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you, me. Yeah. You know, that bush I come from. Prisoner of our brethren. Oh my God. Hmm. Another thing there I want to ask you about is the um another classic clash. Downbeat versus volcano. All right. Okay. Tell me about that one there. Downbeat versus down volcano. Mm -hmm. Volcano was no competition. Was no competition. A club named Club Jamaica. Mm-hmm. Forty third Street in Manhattan on a Christmas Eve night. The night there, it was a. 
it was a good dance. But mm -hmm. my DJ them like I shy they know. They have to show two words. Mm -hmm. Away. But what overcome that dance the night? I remember that night there. Uh, when I play Fade Away. And I play a Barry Brown show named Far East. Mm -hmm. I remember a big man in Jamaica come to me. I said to Mr. Boy, the sound bad enough, I it really saw the yard. And then what give us the edge again now to it was a Christmas Eve night into Christmas. Okay. And great shiny man does a kill you with Christmas lyrics and all mm -hmm. them thing there. And mm -hmm. everything the youth said that night they bum down. Mm -hmm. And we have Sister Nancy because Sister Nancy was actually fresh up here too. Okay. You understand? Because she did that she did that stage show in, in Manhattan with you know, John Holt and Dan Carlos, Hunter College, Ken Williams, keep it. Mm -hmm. And me ever after that. Roadblock in our club named Barclays, people have to stand up. Every club don't be playing at them time, their history. Because them dance, you know, in you know them time when you have an artist from Jamaica, it's still up now. Mm -hmm. You still have other artists who sometimes not on the bill pass through series. So, all the dancers we have all Nicodemus and Bobby Culture and the man they pass through. When Lou Rankin Come up here also. A lot of people think that Lou Rankin come up here with Jack Ruby. What him never come with Jack Ruby? He didn't come up with Jack. No, Lou Rankin was DJing for that song. The him tip at in Hartford, Connecticut. Mm -hmm. Sound so good. Mm -hmm. I mean, Hartford, I mean, I mean, tip at tone of a clash in Bridgeport, Connecticut, because I'm tired of the conquer them places, but never go Hartford to play yet. Mm -hmm. And when the man come down, the man I use back in touch and prefer like me to a sound good. But there was a youth now where Dan Juan, from Dan Juan in New York, mm. rate the youth, they said, boy, the only youth I think can talk to this fans to the ones a youth named Gary. Mm -hmm. So the night now, what happened now? My son gone up there. I mean, try to go up a little later. I'm still a little later, but like I need 30 to reach there. I'm going to go down late. Mm -hmm. And when me pull up near the club, near a certain show not play, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, wait. I want to play them show there. Some of that said, them show there early. Or some of that said, them show that play too late. But the way it's to the one within them bad, I say, no. So we hear the first three tune or four songs, but us relax outside and we can't run. I listen when I go on. And when we go in there, see you to name Gary now, where that one I praise now. Bring some tune for help the dude named Tipato now. We play against him, but you can't help a man. And I bring the tune. And I test the tune them by the sound. So when dance start, no one thing go down to the integrity. Every tune of me here, we play it and play the rubber dub after it. Every one of them when me here on the outside there. Me play them back and play the rubber duck for them. Because the rubber duck for them, they can't play them because that them time there. It's on a certain song in Jamaica. In Jamaica, like maybe Emperor Theater, them thing they can't play certain. Double down be play. Because a lot of things where I want to tell the world to. The reason for that is because. It's like a feature I have, you know, because when they ask me that that for don't play it, I never want the vocal, you know, because we don't have the vocal them already. Mm -hmm. Me want the rhythm them, like all things that come up to bump, you know, them tune there. So I have to praise me that that as my father, because him give me some song where up until now some of them are released, brethren. And the rhythm, them, when they come out to double LP, they still have mix with different from the LP cut them to. This is why the sound. Some man call them sound, this and that and this and that, but it don't represent the name of them I call it. 
me could the name down beat and not be a room, no, you know, and not be no studio one down beat tune. That would make sense for name down beat for sure. I got you. There was thing there. There's um another clash I want to talk to you about. You guys booked up with them a couple of times, King Addies. All right. How did some of those clashes go between Downbeat and King? Yeah, man, there are a few clashes, sir. At, uh, I just get to rough up rough time in my play. You have a clash one night with Danny, Danny Dredd mm -hmm. in Brooklyn. And then get Danny Dredd the edge that night, which you know more say you know go feed then. Brooklyn and Bronx. Friendly clash differently. Downbeat and Addis. Danny Dredd I'm a friend. Mm -hmm. And go on. But King Addis. A couple of times we play, we play like Paradise, Baby Face can tell people, and we are playing tune for tune and excitement like trouble. And we're playing a, we're playing a Bill more ballroom one night. Okay. And they, they must remember that clash here. And they have Super Cat, hmm. Junior Cat, and Nicodemus. Mm -hmm. And we have. Ricky Stero, Wickerman, Captain Barkley, and a youth that just come from Jamaica. Everything in talk was Marshall. Punto mm -hmm. Metro, mm. Monsway. So the difference between that dance there was in the veteran, them, the youth, them, fresh youth, them, they the same way. Mm -hmm. And the last time I just said I'm a friend and wouldn't go, and go too far from that, the my friend won't fight. I know so they do things well. But the last time I just and Mighty Crown buck up in a downbeat and pies in that mm. that takes us pies in that have the big old trophy at Tampa. I may have the big old trophy <laughs> with me. Mm -hmm. Good manager. Mm -hmm. Good manager. And this is a bad song. No underrate when it comes to things. Mm -hmm. Ethan said Pana interview so well then. Um, what him just come to New York. Don't beat was him sound. Respect for that and him rate down beat and card. No sound. Learn from down beat. Him today. Mm -hmm. No sound still. Cause some sound never shut around special say. Them I wonder why don't beat one slap shabba do it because uh, a reality. Mm -hmm. Because no people can understand with what's going on with the younger you, the more so like don't beat. Stay so long as a foundation shown. But we have to remember that you have the younger crowd, the middle class crowd, and you have some people where some of them grew up now, married, elder. We don't want to go a certain dance again, or because they're afraid after a while with the violence, then when they are coming up in a dance, and then people have a family and grow up. So it makes up, but people still, people still go out and you still have younger people where, where would I come at the foundation dance. So we know, so you have the younger youth. So me personally, I fight them. Mm -hmm. All right, another classic cassette I remember I had from 97, I think this was. It was Downbeat and Metro Media, dub for dub, it seemed like for the entire 90 minutes. You remember that dance? It yes, kept man. in Yonkers. Yes, man, that dance was in Yonkers, New York. Mm -hmm. Let me tell us about that dance. We make, we make Sky Juice pack up about three, four times. <laughs> in pack up. Mm -hmm. But you have a light about Sky Juice now. Mm -hmm. It's a showman. You see, if if the thing look like to get bad, mm -hmm. he might make himself. He, you know, me love that. Uh, there was a time for that class, uh, he would have said, don't make me get so much tune from. You know? And people are also look on it. And I mean, he does say to himself, say, that's the way it should be. Because mm -hmm. we not tell each other about the mother, or this, or the cola, or whatsoever the thing is. We just playing song and you know, I remember that class. We didn't play a Sammy Dread. Sammy Dread I'm an artist. Mm. I wouldn't play a Sammy Dread by me and I said, Sky Tusa, I want to take you round the corner in the dark. 
<laughs> I mean, so Kim said, Sky Juice, where's Sam and Trina? We'll take you around the town and you don't want to do what? Sam and Trina, we have to have a talk with you. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and yeah. like that. I mean I'm, I'm an artist that. Mm-hmm. When Sam, Sam and Trina come to New York, the first Saturday night in Como, it's down with John come sing the plan. Same thing with Johnny Hasburn. Mm-hmm. When Johnny Hasburn come, Johnny Hasburn come for a dance. That I think this dance, Mr. Muscle. Mm-hmm. I think this dance is one of the dance that make down beat him in Jamaica. Okay. I dance 1985 in a club named Encore in Queens with Papa Sun, Hurley be the doctor, mm. Brigadier, Danny Dread from Black Star, Papa Tyan, Lorenza. Oh my God. That mm-hmm. dance was something to talk about, brethren. Mm-hmm. That club was a Yankee club, brethren. I'm a busted in a dance hall that night there. Mm-hmm. So, if people go back to say, what don't they do? It's the only part of the every, every club is going around, brethren. Mm-hmm. We build it up. The only thing about that, most of those clubs, it was like our dance. We used to keep my promotion, too. Yep. But, me have so much love for the business that they be tell a man to brother and say, my 15, you take it. Because it was just all about the love we have for the thing. Mm-hmm. I remember when I was just coming up in New York City and a man sitting at a record shop. If I have a car, a man sitting at a record shop and say, they a party, you know. So I like, pass through, you know. Mm-hmm. And once me now nah, do nothing, they take a box or two box of 45. God, them tell me they've not done plate yet. Hmm. But guess what happened now? Don't care who playing, when I reach here, it make a difference. Mm-hmm. It must make a difference, brethren. Can you me look at it now? Me look at it say, when two sound playing, when your time finish, my time, when my time finish, your time. Mm-hmm. So I say to go. And now sound me play against where we have sound me play against Mr. Muscle where with Junior Reed of all the most popular song them, Banana Boat and all them song there. Mm-hmm. And them outfit is Pierce sequence and them thing there. Rochester. And when the man them show off themselves, and they just say, well, then now, so it's going on, but I remember I said the thing, you know, when it go down to the wire, I hope man, a man can defend it. Hmm. That when the selector say, don't be it. We don't stop flying to Jamaica, you know, and get children, you know, and say, yeah, we don't look, we don't stop flying to Jamaica. Maybe the easiest way. Door to door deliver by FedEx. <laughs> Quick to. Hmm. And the idiot children play. Mm-hmm. We make sound as a veteran sound feel proud for what I did because when I go in a dance like tonight, you know, I go into a class tonight. Okay. I go into a big class tonight. Big big class with our um adding the next sound. Mm-hmm. You know, and you know, we keep up to the youth I play. For sure. You understand? We keep up to them up here. We know them. We can pick out my bad and, you know, Vice Cartel and, and, and you know, Alkaline and, and them, you, they vice different from each other. It's just that down it is more on the foundation side. All right. Talking about that, when was the first time you met David Radigan? Um, you mean to play or meet him officially? No, to play, as in Downbeat yeah. and David Radigan. When was the first time you guys met in a dance? The first time we actually played is um, 19, 1997. Okay. In England, there was a clash there on a bank holiday night. Uh, it's a very nice place up in a Warner Brothers place, beautiful place. Mm-hmm. And um, that that clash was downbeat. David Radigan, 
Cox from England and Gemini from Jamaica. And oh. um, Welton Irie was selecting Gemini so yes. that night. Mm -hmm. That clash, <laughs> mm -hmm. that clash, them actually cancelled it the night. And when them cancelled it, he put the dance come down to say five minutes. Mm -hmm. Them said in one tune from Radigan and one tune from Downbeat. Mm -hmm. Gemini and Cox had fall out. And so I, I just finished playing. And Radigan wanted me to play the first tune, you know? So the soul and Raddy, I just finished playing. So it's fair enough that if you will play your first tune. Mm -hmm. And then I look at the institution right here, and then I said, No, me play. But the song of me play, it had David Radigan thinking. <laughs> so he make a talk, and him say, Well, the people that book their money here, sign a contract for book the venue, and then stop the session half an hour before. And the guy damaging too expensive too. Mm -hmm. And some little thing, can I think say this dance should keep in Brixton? Mm -hmm. A woman named P was from BBC Radio, she was a judge. And she you now come and hold the mic and say, What do you think about this downbeat? And I said to her, so well then, well. Yeah, the one who is a judge and everything and the people, I you mean, know, so I don't know what I, I come to play a music and enjoy myself and I enjoy myself. So whatever decision is not for me to say, whatever I want to say, it's okay with me. And them can't the dance, you know. Them, them call off the cash then because them said done before the time come. Mm -hmm. That was the first time they're in clash. Okay, so then that would bring us fast forward to I think two thousand and six was when you guys clashed again in New York. Yes, mm -hmm. at um, C Park. Mm -hmm. I and that clash, I actually beat myself in many ways because I I knew that that dance was going to be not so easy. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, people like Radigan over here too, mm -hmm. and people love Downbeat. But I well planned for that dance, well planned. Mm -hmm. But what happened? There was a, I'm not going to call his name, but, but there was a, a friend of mine, I would say a person from Germany that came over. Mm -hmm. um, you know, where it's actually a good friend of Radigan today. I and mean, me was a good friend too, because we came at the hotel and everything in New Rochelle. And me and him aspired him. So when I go to Germany, Germany, in come around and never him bring me to Germany, but him come around. So the night when I was there and thing like that, my wife went on a cruise. Mm -hmm. She had one of my son went on a cruise and when she come back, she come on Saturday, same day when the clash like about two o'clock and I supposed to pick up her, pick her up at the airport. Mm -hmm. But there was a dance in Amazora Friday night before our dance with Baby Shama and Spranga Benz. Mm -hmm. Ram like hell, I tell you. And when my when I go pick up my wife at the airport now, I asked her to her, I say, Why well, Lori? Why well, no stop stress me out, you know? You know, see, because me don't plan. Mm -hmm. Me do everything with me if you do already. See, see, see that dance. Don't plan. Mm -hmm. But one of the things with me, you go behind my word, look a bit locked up for rest. I almost lose my life, Richard. Yeah. I will tell the people. So when I tell her all of that time, in the party hotel and this guy again, he rock a tone just open a restaurant and Irish jam them have a you know live broadcast at the store. Mm -hmm. 
he wanted to go there. And I tell my wife, said, well, I'm not going to pick him up in the dance time, you know. Time I'm going to dance with me. Mm-hmm. But I said, I'm not going to pick him up. I'm not going to be in my bedroom. Just rest myself at least that day there. Because the night before, at the baby shop show, DJ rise to me and said, Don't be too old, them type of man in your man, you should have relaxed yourself in the clash. Mm-hmm. Which was true. Because I carried the man over there again to make him feel good. Mm-hmm. The man stopped calling me, and stopped calling me the evening. So I decided, so well, then they were pick him up. Go against my mind. Go well, up and your rush, will pick him up. Coming back, two lights for change. We can go up on 95. Mm-hmm. Stop at the stop sign, you know. Coming back down to the Bronx. There was a woman run right to the back of the vehicle, mm-hmm. right to the back of the truck. We have our seatbelt, but she run so hard, I don't know what she was doing, Richard. Mm-hmm. Right down the back, I the back coming like it. I tell you, and the female nearly got through all the, the windshield. Then I start worrying how come I start hurt me. Mm-hmm. The jerk where I get, and I had bleeding two times in my brain. Mm-hmm. I had bleeding in 2004 in Germany. Mm-hmm. And I have it again. No, that was the second time when I had it. Mm-hmm. And I start worrying now before I worry about my life, you know. I worry about the people them now. So I never want to go to the hospital and tell the truth. Hmm. And the police and the fireman them to me I hold my head. And I beg the people don't know these things. Mm-hmm. So when you get the opportunity, give thanks to share this with the world. Mm-hmm. So when I finally go into the hospital, you know, true, I know I have bleeding before in my, my brain. Mm-hmm. I know, say, if I tell him, say, the head are hurt me. The first thing I know, though, is give me a CAT scan. Mm-hmm. I know them all is half a CAT scan before they give him MRI. For some reason. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, I guess MRI will come up with something when the CAT scan will come up. But usually if you are bleeding, you know, the, 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 cat, the cat scan will come up with it. And he tell these people, them say, my back are hurt me, you know. So I'm a back, them are test all the way, you know. Well, them keep me about, say, five, six hours in the hospital. Mm-hmm. And he come out, you know. And, and the selector, the night, you me a finger, you tell me check for everything, but they lay him the night, too. Mm-hmm. Because I know everything will happen to me. I know something about into myself. I want me look at it. But I said to myself, say, if me never go to the dance tonight, they would have to either cancel it, keep it over again the next time or something. But you will love my fans them so much and the people I'm gonna want to disappoint them. Mm-hmm. We go on that dance. And the selector couldn't back me up. Man, just lame. Cause I have to do the people, my boss sick enough. You know? And I defend it. But, you know, anybody, I, I, I get sick when I watch that video. Hmm. Because I'm telling people when I started that, you know, I was in an accident and thing. Because in that night, when I play a couple of bone tequila, and rather than come on and say, don't be talking and show you. I don't play a bounty killer in the area. He must have played a bounty killer. But even when he must have played some people who would fight a bounty killer straight or so. We still win that round there. Mm-hmm. We still win that round there. And when the next round, they play a bit too much clean. And I'll tell you the spammy and them things there again. We win that round there again. Because they kill the bit too much clean when they play. Because mm-hmm. you're the first person to vice a bit too much clean. For sure. I want to advise me to my clean. Me use only a couple of femur in them. Me give the rhythm them when me want my thing. You understand? 
But when the dance comes down to the wire, the start gets sick with all the video I like now. I hit my bad man. And then the energy talking, I hit me. I never feel good. I don't know why. Hmm. And guess what happened? We have two more dance in Jamaica, you know. The next night, you know. Or oh, the next I night. Not, yes, I should not I should not even take that flight that morning. Mm -hmm. But true, my wife wanted it. My wife is English, you know. She wants not the first time, but she wants to go to Jamaica with me. Mm -hmm. And I shall never take that flight there. And I take that flight there and go to Jamaica Bridge with me. And thank God for the year today giving you this interview today. Guys, mm -hmm. true and real. Because all I could have done, Black Scorpio drive me in at the dance and just come out back and go in at the hotel. And this girl there from Germany, a white girl named Bride, maybe one of my biggest fans up here. Mm -hmm. She was in Jamaica. And remember, every time I open my eye, she have a toilet. Huh? I wipe off the perspiration, kind of a Jamaica that, uh, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I sweat like hell. And then I was supposed to leave from Jamaica the Tuesday, come up back to New York, and then go to Europe the Thursday to start a 12 show tour. You're busy, boss. And all of that go on the train. And that was so good to me because. I remember when I was at the airport in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. I hear my wife I tell the people at the airport, so my wife, because you're in Jamaica, never want me to take the flight. And she tell them, say, my husband have to go back. I have to go back. Mm -hmm. And uh, make the flight. And the last thing I remember, and that flight coming up. If I do think, which I did think I, I, I think I remember that flight. Because I'm passed out by the plane, you know. But but the last thing I think I remember mm -hmm. is maybe three minutes or five minutes when the plane actually touched down. I'm think the era ambulance are come. Mm -hmm. So they was getting an ambulance ready. So when the plane land, bam, bam, bam. The thing that got me here. Mm -hmm. And I think I said go to and uh, them get me out tight and warm it up and whatever it is and all kind of thing happened to me on a flight day. And uh, they put me in a Jamaica hospital in Queens. Mm -hmm. And I was here for two and a half weeks. Yeah man. And when my wife say everything my brother wants, she never feel pleased. Mm -hmm. She fight like a hell breacher. And get me in Presbyterian Hospital in Manhattan. Mm -hmm. And there goes, she signed some paper for you, make them do surgery. Never have a, never have a surgery. But them, them, them do what they have to do. And, and um, they come through this. So I was in a coma for two and a half weeks. Wow. You know, and they took that and go through everything and come out of it. Mm -hmm. And go back to England three months later, I'll take back my title. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Many people don't talk about my title when I take back. Mm -hmm. Don't talk about the one in the laws. I know about the one in England where you went back and won. I know that. Right. You understand? Mm -hmm. But the truth is the truth. You only look at it now, Mr. Mm -hmm. The name of the game is win or lose. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Don't care how great it is. You will have a bad night sometime. Whether you buck up on a crowd where it's more into the next sound. Mm -hmm. But most of the time, if me lose a clash, I may beat myself. And as to God, well, maybe sometime, for real, maybe be a little bit too hard. Yeah. Bring your lyrics to him, say, Don't beat. No play a tune where someone play a left. But sometimes you have to play somebody where they play a left too. <laughs> because most of these fans are crowd out there. Mm -hmm. They don't really know tune. Most of them. 
them are going to know the tune them what them used to so it's not like back in the days when we are going down you know what i did in that dance where i know people talking about it mm-hmm. radigan play welcome to jam rock for me in a tune to tune damian marley mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. he might have a good idea so me never have the tune yeah, man, it promised me what you never get for me or charge me feet or what. But I want to get it. But anyway, what you know, because if it's being sad to see or had this or any one of them so them I play again. So now nah, that tune and now nah, go wait till tune to tune for play. If you get what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. But you know I do that night, it am a sick situation. I said to him, say, rather than I really used to say I want to win the clash, of course. If you play most want to win. But when you play a tune like this in a tune to tune, that I show you say you really want to win. But they're gonna play a tune for you now as an original song. With the words to that. We are the first to one word that we hear this artist step on that door. Mm-hmm. And when I play Ken Parker. Mm-hmm. Two, two, two. Mm. in a sea park all the, all the concrete in I move <laughs> and the next tune after that mm-hmm. when Radigan played flop I'm going to try and next can park up on them again pop, 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 pop the group on them tune there mm. the first time you hear that tune that you make a king chance to hear play it the the King James never named King James. Because King James is named Prince James. Mm-hmm. No people don't know that. And even before that, it was tape tone. And that's how they right. got King James. And, that, and, and not only that, I'm going to tell people that James is probably one of the longest or all his tone. Because <laughs> I tell him, I look up here, James 1962, I play a red ring. James is mm-hmm. out there from 1962. Mm-hmm. You come off of the road for a while and come to Canada. Remember? Mm-hmm. Yep, of course. Bill Amplifier, James and a friend. Mm-hmm. I'm not afraid to talk the truth, Richard, whether I interview or not. Yeah. Be, be, be like, speak the truth, or the thing go. Got you. All right, well, look at this. We have about five minutes left, and yeah. I want to call this a part one, okay? I yes. definitely need to sit down with you because we didn't touch, we didn't crack anywhere close to where no, i want to go crack you know <laughs> so this is how this is how we're going to end off this part one here i need you to give me five dub plates that you actually brought to the sound class scene either you're the one the first one to play the rhythm first one to voice this artist or first one to put out this combo five of them okay all right why it all right why well, five, well, I just said five is more than five. <laughs> so, but anyway, <laughs> let, me, let, let me tell you what come out from the head right now. Mm-hmm. Baba Masi are always together. Mm-hmm. Alta Nellis, the world know by now, so I'm my favorite singer. They must have watched me from Barry Salmon to respect Judy and Downbeat. Mm-hmm. They must have respect me again, beat him up clean. You have to respect me again, Ben Washington. Let's respect me. I can't by himself mix it. This podcast is brought to you by www.twolinedmusichunt.com.